Oh, hey. Um, Hello. Hi. I wanted to talk to you a bit about what happened with Malachi. In, or should I go outside? I'll come inside. Okay. If you don't mind, of course. No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, honestly. Um, what about Malachi? Specifically, what, what, happened? what happened with him the last time we interacted? The whole uh. memory thing, or? Partially that, and partially... I wanted to explain to you the full context of what he did with that helmet. You mean the stuff he made you see? Yes. Alright. I'll hear you out. No objections, no asking no, for him to um, come to his own defense? Well, I mean, he's not just here, so just... I'm willing to hear whatever you have to say, and I'll make up my mind about it. Okay. I'm glad you can be reasonable. I'm somewhat of a reasonable person, I think. You can certainly agree to deals when they benefit you. So... What happened? So... I assume you know that it does show... Trauma. Yeah. Well... It also lets him dig around inside my brain to pull it out. Okay. The first thing he showed me was... Well, it was the... Okay, some background. I assume Adrian hasn't told you much about what I've told him about what approximates to my childhood. Not, no, not that I can, not really that I can recall. Okay. To add the bare minimum context, I was created as a bioweapon, treated as more of an object slash slave than an actual person and when I escaped I killed my captors and then went out into the larger world. Right. That's that's a lot. So you had to go through that. Yeah, no, it's not the focus here. Although... No, that's not even the focus. Although, he did show me that later on, but that's another thing. The thing I'm focusing on here was... The first thing he showed me was actually... What I did when I got out. Because... At that point... The only humans I had actually interacted with were, effectively speaking, torturers and slave masters. And I was a child, so didn't exactly have the most complex view of them. Right. So, when I encountered a roving family of humans. I acted aggressively, they responded in kind, and...
I killed both of the parents. Oh. And he made me relive that. Specifically the part where their daughter would make them wake up. Well, this is going to be a lot more of that, just the first one, so if you need to, you might want to sit down. I'm alright. You're sure? I'm fine. The other ones were more vague, serious missteps and mistakes and enemies I've made in my years. One was getting chased out by an angry mob over something or other. I really don't want to get into it. Don't. One was... An honor duel. That's how I feel would best describe it. But that was stuff he... All just went into my brain and picked out at random. Then I started shit talking him a bit, and he got personal with it. Oh. The first thing was mace. Specifically, an obviously dead mace, begging to know why I had killed him. I... You, you can continue. The other one was what I told Adrian. You know how I said I was created as a weapon? Yeah. I wasn't the only one. There were five of us in total. And... We were like siblings, really. But... They considered emotional bonds potential weaknesses, so... They... locked two of us in a room, and... said one of us would have to die for the other to leave. That's horrible. And keep in mind, Malachi knew exactly that story. Like, he knew exactly what happened and how it affected me. And he still made me live through it again. Right. Right. That's... I mean, he, he did say that you... Sorry to sound childish, he did say you started it, but that's still... That's still a bit much. Yes, I did start it. If by start it you mean wanted to know what the helmet did. Do you know why he went that far? 
he wanted the pride that came with me viewing him as an actual threat. I mean, is... Did he say that, or... Is that what you're assuming? He was pretty fucking explicit about it. As in, when I managed to escape him doing that, afterwards, like, during it, he was asking me if he was an actual threat to me. And then afterwards, when I finally relented that yes, he was a threat, he was just so childishly giddy about it. I... I don't know what to... What was... He... That's not... That's not him? No, that's the part that sucks. It kind of is him. It's just not how he... portrayed the interaction. Yeah, no shit. Because he knew how you'd think about it. Yeah, he... said that to me. And that was why he didn't tell me everything, which... I still haven't made up my mind about how I feel about that. This information is certainly... It's certainly some of the information ever, so I don't really... I'm gonna need a bit of time to process this, I'm sure you understand. No, I, I understand. You can have time. I'm also just... I'm sure he didn't start off with that. It... No. Why didn't you just leave He built home? up to it. How do, you, how do you mean? And then he started with the randomly picked traumas. Then he actively moved on to the more A recent and then B still kind of raw ones. I mean, before that, I'm sure he didn't start off with showing you your trauma. You came up to him. Why did he give no warning at all? Or no, he gave vague warnings of you don't want to mess with me. But you know how he is. He does that anyway. I don't think. I mean, if if you had left when he had asked, I'm sure he wouldn't have. I'm sure he just wanted to be left alone. Right. Sure. I know, I know. It was... It was too much. But... If he really w just wanted to be left alone and didn't want to hurt anyone, he, A, wouldn't have made the helmet that powerful in the first place, then B, he would have just told me. All I wanted was to just know what it did. I didn't require a fucking demonstration. Let alone one that did. vindictive. Yeah, but, I mean, if... 
if he didn't want to tell you, which I'm assuming he didn't, why couldn't you just let him be? Come back another time. You and me both know coming back another time wouldn't work. And considering the potency of it, I feel my paranoia about it is slightly justified. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if he made it that powerful on purpose. I, that's not what its original... I mean, that's not the purpose he told me he made it for. Can you honestly trust that anymore? I... He lied to me once to protect my feelings. I... If I... If I asked him, I'm sure... N no, I'm... He lied to you in order to protect himself from consequences. I... I... I guess? I don't... But it doesn't... I don't... Why would he... We're supposed to- he promised me he wouldn't. He's been trying to get better, I don't know why he would do this. When has he ever actually kept his promises? I- he kept Blackwell alive. Sort of, as far as I'm aware. I very much doubt he's conscious. And there's no way he'd actually return. As far as I can tell, he's merged Blackwell's soul with his own in some fickle manner. I mean, I, maybe it's on me for not outlining the details well enough. Like, We're yes, alive that, should mean conscious and able to function as an independent being. That's pretty damn close to the actual usual definition. I don't know what he would think being alive is. But to me, that doesn't count. You have a point. Is that... I, I mean, what, what do you... You said you wanted to give me information. What do you gain from this? Aside from making me second guess my whole partnership with him, which I was already kind of doing, I mean, as I point? said, I now consider him a genuine threat. I would rather other people weren't oblivious to that as well. So you're trying to warn me, basically. In a sense. I can respect that. I don't know if I'll heed it entirely, though. I wouldn't entirely expect you to. Do take okay. this as a warning. Don't trust him to keep any other promises he's made. And don't trust him not to hide it, the truth from you, just because it's convenient for him. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll take that into consideration also. Good. With that, I believe I'm done.
All right, well, see you around, I guess. See you.